Hi, Steph here from Hofgist. Welcome to another Fast and Fabulous Friday. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate this cute little baby card here. I have several shows coming up. Um, one I'll have, uh, tomorrow, actually I have some cards um, at the Breslau sale and some uh, little gifty items. I physically won't be there unfortunately. Something else has come up but um, I will have some of my wares there. I've done the show there for about four years, so I'm very excited. I think this would be my fifth year there. Um, anyway, so I didn't have any baby cards, so I thought that I would uh, demonstrate this one for you today. So I have several pieces uh, that we need. Let me just bring in my supplies here. I have a gray granite card base here um, so this measures four and a quarter by five and a half um, I cut and score all of my own card bases so this is just an eight and a half by eleven piece of cardstock scored in the middle and cut down the middle so you get two from one sheet so I have that I have a piece of four by six uh, designer series paper from the Twinkle Twinkle pack. So this is Stampin' Up! paper, so it's double-sided. I'm going to use this cute little star pattern here. For the sake of time, I have uh, already embossed this, so I use the Tufted uh, Dynamic Embossing Folder, so it gives it uh, quite a, well, it's in the name, dynamic look. Um, and to do that, I just ran it through my Big Shot. There is a line on the newer folders so that if it was a smaller piece of paper and the pattern was something that you needed to be um, cautious of getting it straight, there's a line now on the folders so that you can do it straight. But um, mine pretty much takes up the whole folder. So I cut it by four by six and ran it through the Big Shot. And then the reason why I did that is because Ta-da! Magic of uh, video here. Um, I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but this one has been embossed. So again, it was four by six, and then I cut three quarters off. So this one is going to go right on the front of the card. So this now measures four by five and a quarter. So let's just go ahead and glue that down. So I'm going to use some Tombow multi-purpose adhesive. Love this stuff just because it gives you a lot of wiggle room and you don't need a whole lot. So I'm going to glue that onto the card like so. And this other little piece I'm using on the inside. So I'm going to, oops, gotta hold it down a little bit. Um, so I'm going to, I have a piece of Whisper white paper. This is four by five and a quarter also. And then my little strip of paper here that I cut off of this one is uh, four by three quarters of an inch. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the back of that one. And I'm going to stick it onto the white. And no rhyme or reason to why I'm leaving a bit of a border at the bottom. I just like the way that that looks. Okay, and then I'm going to glue that on the inside of the card. Now the card base is um, light enough probably that you could still see your writing if you were to write in it in pen. But um, I, um, I don't know. I thought that the white would look nice. Okay, so now we have the front and the inside looks about the same. So we're going to create some of these other pieces here now from the card. I don't know if it's coming up on the video here. I think it might, but there's some sheen here to the, the pinkish paper. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to show you how I did that. I'm just going to set this one aside. I'm using the Frost White Shimmer Paint here. So there's four different colors available. You're going to give it a shake. And there's a ball inside and you're just going to give that a little bit of shake and I'm going to come in with a sponge dauber here fits on your finger and a piece of this was a scrap that I had in my bin but I think it's two by four 
ish <laughs> four and an eight or something like that um, so give your shimmer paint a shake and I'm going to use the cap here it's a perfect little palette so this ensures that I have zero waste so I'm just taking my dauber and I'm going to put it inside pick up some of the shimmer and I'm just going to add it directly to the card base here or sorry not card base the card stock and then we're going to do some other um, treatments with it in a minute. So I just added it right to the cardstock. So I think you can, it's coming up here on the camera. I think you can see that how much shimmer that adds. Okay, it's very pretty. Um, subtle, but quick and easy to do. Okay, so now I'm going to come in with uh, two different punches. So um, I have the triple banner punch so I'm going to punch the bottom and then I gave the top this little tag so uh, this is the triple banner punch so uh, triple banner because you can have three different sizes of paper but certainly you can have much smaller or a little bit bigger too that works but the biggest one to for the paper to fit in the punch is two inches so we're just going to take our paper and slide it in probably works best if I keep it down on the table and it's getting stuck there we go all right so slide it till it can't go in anymore and give it a punch and pull it out this is scrap and we got the bottom of the this little tag piece here that I'm gonna come in with I don't know if, there we go the um, tag topper punch so again I'm sliding it in this is also a two inch space sliding it in all the way till it can't go anymore pushing down and you get the tag part okay get rid of that then um, to finish off the tag piece here I have a piece of gray granite ribbon going to slide that in like so and just a piece of white twine and I'm going to double knot this just to make sure that it's held in place all right and tie a bow now usually when I use twine I do tie a double knot just because it's a little bit finer than a ribbon and I want to make sure that it's held into place. But also this time because I'm tying it on the ribbon here I wanted to make sure that it stays put. Alright, whoops, sorry. So then I just grabbed my ribbon scissors and I flagged the tops there. And now we can go ahead and glue this onto our card. And then we can do the rest of the stamping. All right. So I'm just going to add some glue to the back of the tag part here. And I glued it on an angle. Now if your ribbon is going over the top there, you can always trim that a little bit more. We'll just glue that down. All right, and bring in the last bits of our pieces. So I have a scallop circle cut with the uh, layering circles framelit. So you get circles and scallops. And I just have a couple of pieces of scrap paper here. From my scrap bin, I'm going to just set this aside here. And I will come in now with some of the uh, stamps. So I don't know if I pointed this out. This is the stamp set that I'm using. Uh, little elephant and um, lots of cute little images and sentiments. And then it has a coordinating elephant punch, which I love. You know how much I love um, punches and stamp sets. So I'm inking up the hearts in Blushing Bright and stamping there. And then while I have um, 
this out, we'll just take the congratulations. And sorry, while I move my head over. Nope, don't like where that is. All right, we'll flip it over and try stamping again. I like that better. And what did I do on the inside? Oh, and then on the inside, I'll show the inside of the original card. Hello, little one. So I'm just going to bring this one back over and ink up that one. And I stamp that in the bottom. Okay. So then with this other piece of scrap, I'm going to take the little elephant. So you get two elephants. There's a bigger one and a little one. So I'm going to use the little one and use gray granite ink. So I'm inking that up. I'm going to stamp it there. And then I want to, oh, let me grab another little scrap here. I just want to stamp it again on a little bit of scrap and try to get that ear. Okay, and I'll show you why in a minute. And then while I have the gray granite, I'm just going to ink up this kind of border stamp here in gray granite. I'm going to stamp it off once and then I'm going to stamp it onto the scallop just to give it some ground. All right, we're going to close that up before I get ink everywhere. Okay, so now we have uh, all of these pieces here. And I'm going to bring in the elephant. Oh, let's see. There we go. So you have the two elephants. Let me turn it this way. Two elephants, you have an eye, and you have the couple of ears. So the reason why I stamped this on a smaller piece is because I want to punch out that ear. Because I popped it up on the original card. Okay, and then the other little elephant we're going to punch out here. All right, oops, sorry, I keep hitting the camera. All right, so we got those pieces. For the ear, I'm just going to grab one of the mini dimensionals and add that to the back of the ear and peel that off Oop. and pop up his little ear. He's so cute. Make sure it's straight stuff. And then I'm going to glue him flat here and to look like the little hearts are coming out of his trunk. So I'm just going to add some glue to the back there. And glue that down. Oh, straight. Let's do it straight. Okay. And then lastly, for the little piece here, I still have this little banner punch. And I'm just going to slide it in here to flag the ends of congratulations. And I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the back. Because I just want it to sit down here at the bottom. All right. Now, I'll go ahead and add some dimensionals to the back. And peel those off. We're almost done. I know I try to keep the videos to about 10 minutes, but um, sometimes things just take longer. But it is still a pretty quick and easy card. And I hope that you have enjoyed this one. So we're just going to glue that there and fix that a little bit. And just to finish things off, I'm going to bring in some of the sequins. These are from um, the basic uh, sequin pack. And you get five different colors. And I'm just going to, I picked three of them, the ones that I liked with the card. And I'm just going to add those. Um, put one there. And one there. There we go. 
quick and easy, fast and fabulous. So I hope that you enjoyed today's um, fast and fabulous Friday video. I hope you have a fantastic Friday and a very happy weekend, whatever that uh, you may get up to. As always with my Fast and Fabulous Friday uh, demonstrations, if you leave me a comment, let me know what you thought of the video, the project, wish me a happy Friday, um, whatever, just leave me a comment and I will draw a winner for some happy mail. So have a great Friday everyone, thanks for tuning in, take care, bye!